fucking thing. Fuck. Piss shit. Asshole. By the way, there will be swearing in this production. Good afternoon guys, it's Lord Vulcan here again. Uh, today's vlog's kind of just going to be a general rant and ramble, you know, honestly. I haven't got a set criteria or anything like that set up for it. Um, first things first. Um, I'm actually off work, sick at the moment, signed off like by doctors and everything like that. Because of my crash last year. Which is why I'm not actually using my back brake at the moment, because my right side leg is just absolutely fucked. The only reason I'm on the bike today is because the car's got no petrol in it, and I need some stuff. But yeah, um, went to the doctors last week, and he said, well, basically, sir, you have not, well, that, yeah, but he is Indian, you know what I mean. You've got no ligaments left in your ankle, they've completely just been knocked out. And my ankle's now basically like a limp dick. It's like playing snooker with a rope. So it just goes bleh, like that one's right about and like that. Like window lickers with their fucking hands. But yeah, cannot move my ankle whatsoever. And if anyone says, oh, well, you're not safe to ride, just... I can move it. It just stays in exactly the same place all the time. It is splinted up, supported up. Shot up with fucking painkillers, and yes, I am alright to drive on them for all you little Nazis out there. But yeah, gotta go to the doctor, and apparently, I've got to have surgery on it, which I am really, really not looking forward to because I hate needles, even though I've got tattoos. I just don't like that one long bastard needle that you can see coming from a mile off, and the doctor has to get a run up with. Thank you! But yeah, I've had a few people come round, I've had all the club come round, which I really do appreciate. I'll, I'll big shout out to all Street Freaks. Because they've come around and they've made me feel a lot better myself, because obviously being trapped in a room for three weeks, just... It, you are climbing the walls, to say the least. And also had the confused rider come and stay over for a night when a cat jumped on his face and we had a little bit of cheeky bum sex. Tell you what, he ain't half big. He fucking is. Told me a new one. But speaking of illnesses and sickness and stuff, the whole Ebola bollocks that suddenly come out of nowhere. Well, I know it hasn't suddenly come out of nowhere, but all these people, especially Americans, panicking like fuck over it. It's like, well, what's the point? You've had one confirmed case, and that's because you shipped him over from Sierra Leone or somewhere where it's infected from. And the massive kind of health and safety things that would put him glaze were fucking non-existent. Oh yeah, this guy's got something that's very, very contagious, can only done by bodily fluids. Let's go and lick him. Well, not lick him, but you know what I mean. I don't get what the whole problem is. I really don't. There's been like 8,000 confirmed cases of it. And you think how many people are in the world who are actually susceptible to get that. Yeah, there's no cure for it. But if that's the case, just put him in solitary isolation and hope for the best. I know that's me being a bit nasty, but if you're highly contagious, then I think you're looking out for everyone else as much as yourself. You don't want someone else to get what you've got. Selfish bastards. But I do agree with what some people have said in, about Britain and just close the fucking borders. We're an island, it's not like people can randomly just sneak in. But... Sorry, he was giving me that look. But um, yeah, a dog. Nobody can exactly climb up the White Cliffs of Dover. I know there's ways of getting into Britain, but if that's the case, then just fucking keep calm about it and just carry on like we always do. But anyways, I... <laughs> but um, they go the guys on another voyage. I don't like him now, he said I have a nice bike and probably my ass is hanging out. I'm 
I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like I said, it's going to be a runt and a ratter. And a ratter. Ooh, nice little BM. But yeah, I just wanted to get out for a ride and... Oh, Christ, the grit and shite on this. Last time I came out for a ride was when I had fingers gloves on, even that was too warm. Come on, love. Yeah, try and charge the battery on this fucking thing. And my mate's keeping his jigs of thou at my garage for the winter until he can find the garage of his own because he just moved out. And the bastard's locked it up and taken the keys with him. It's like, well, uh, at least let me have a fucking go at it. Come on, don't be selfish. He likes that. Yeah, a lot of pops and pings coming off it. Yeah, but the house has never been tidier since I've been off. Honestly, it's never been this clean. There's only so many times that you can fucking masturbate and polish a shelf while you're on sick. Honestly, I've got tired of seeing the sight of my own cock. I really, I never thought I'd say that. It's nothing to write home about, but Jesus Christ, my... Honestly, my views on fucking Tube 8 have gone from like 500 to over 1,000 in this three weeks. That's how many times... You know, when you just go on the internet, you just think, right, porn. I've gone to get some mods for a game, porn. Check Facebook, porn. And you don't even do anything, you... I actually caught myself thinking, God, what would her mother be thinking of her doing that? Uh, that uh, your brain just shuts off, which is mainly why I'm talking now, but... What I found out earlier, one of the guys from work told me about it, is we've got these people who get on the vehicles that I work on, call them, we call them the Dingles, in all of the state. And they look, it just shows what a generation of, just one generation of inbreeding can do to people because I don't think the entire family's got a full set of teeth between them but they're going on holiday and they told one of our drivers yeah, I do um, oh yeah, we like going on holiday this is the children, the children are about 30 and the mother is just something spewed from the mouth of you know, Beelzebub's vagina she said, oh yeah, we like going all day, it means we can sleep together. And, like, what, in the city bed? No, no, we can actually, you know. And, you know, we just think, what the fucking kind, or early kind of, like, parenting is that? You let your kids sleep together as a family treat. We used to get an ice cream, not fucking fellatio. Mind you, they could probably make a porno, and I'd check Facebook, and then watch it and think, well, they got on there. <laughs> Doesn't help that they think I'm handsome. Not handsome, handsome. Which doesn't. I don't want to get invited to a fucking caravan in Skegness. Nothing wrong with Skegness, I just don't want to go with them fucking mutants. Stay where you are, you fat little woman. It's the little things you find that you start missing as well, like just being able to go to the garage when you can't walk. And just smelling outside because I'm not proud of it, but I actually went a week without, oh no, 10 days without getting washed. And I don't even mean sink washes because I was literally on my hands and knees doing kind of like an arc of piss into the toilet because I couldn't stand up. I know how midgets feel now. And it ain't easy. Because you have to kind of adjust the trajectory of your cock whilst you're pissing to make sure that it all goes in the world, otherwise it just dribbles down your leg. God, I really am a vile human being when it comes to bodily functions. 